smartphones can do just about anything these days. When your phone has access to anything you could want, including books for a tiny screen, there's not much more you can ask for. But before there were snippets of information flying across phone screens like there are today, the predominant form of literature was a wonderful thing called a book. You may have read books on an e-reader or on an app. Today, we will look at what a physical book is, and I'll walk you through exactly how to read one. The first step to reading a physical book is to find one. Don't forget that never judge a book by its cover is an old phrase that applies to almost anything except a book. In this case, always judge the book by its cover and pick something that looks interesting. Step 2. Find a place to read your book. A nook isn't just a clever name for an e-reader. It's also a nice place to cozy up with a good friend. Get comfortable. You may be here for a while. Thirdly, you'll need to open the book. This may be a little bit complicated if you're used to simply tapping a touchscreen, but oddly, physical books don't work quite like your iPhone. What you'll do is take the edge of the front cover. You can identify the front cover by seeing that any text is right side up and by noticing that the spine of the book is on the left side and lifting it up and to the left, opening the book as you would a small box. Step 4. Follow the text. The most common way to read an English novel is from left to right and top to bottom. This should be fairly intuitive. Step 5. Turn a page. Don't worry, when the text ends, you don't have a malfunctioning book. This works similarly to opening the book, but you'll simply need to grab the corner of one of the book's pages. Step 6. Use your imagination. Some books might have nice illustrations, but a lot of novels will only have pages and pages of text. Don't be intimidated, just let your mind wander. And don't worry about getting lost. That's the best part. Step 7. Learn. If you come across a word you don't know, or a concept with which you are unfamiliar, look it up. But, if possible, use a physical dictionary for words. It's always best to eliminate the distraction that the internet can be if you want to immerse yourself in the full experience of the physical book. Step 8. Treat your book well. When you find a book that you truly enjoy, it will become like a friend to you. And you wouldn't want to hurt your friend, would you? Make sure to keep your book in good condition. If possible, avoid dog-earing pages and try to use a bookmark. Step 9. Don't be afraid to laugh out loud or to cry a little. Words are very powerful tools, and when you are completely immersed, you will more than likely have some strong emotional reactions. Step 10. When you finish the book, you'll close the back cover. Then, you should make sure to take at least a few minutes to sit and contemplate the book. Finishing a book and entering the real world too quickly can result in a sort of shock similar to the feeling you get when you stand up too quickly after lying down for an extended period of time. And don't forget to keep reading. Find more books to read and repeat the steps above. Your life will feel more full, and so will your vocabulary. The End